here we go. Quake 3 Arena. I got it working on the, uh, <clears throat> the new video card and the new monitor. Had to do a lot of patching. Uh, this is where it started, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know where the term Twitch from Twitch TV comes from, the Twitch streaming service, the Twitch in general, the term originated from games like this. Twitch, they were called Twitch shooters because of the reaction you had to have. It's like a, a pixel perfect instant, like twitch of your hand to get right on target. They don't make games like this anymore and it's a sad thing. And we used to just line up our CRT monitors on laundry tables and hook up the LAN and just frag each other all weekend long. Stay up all night. It was good times. This is Sarge. So there's really no story to this game. Uh, there is a story to Quake 1 and 2, but this was just the arena shooter and there was a bunch of us that played it two carls a daryl ed a bunch of people and we'd make our own maps and set up our own servers It'd be 120 degrees in my apartment because the crt monitors were just cooking us alive And there were better arena shooters, there were, but this was my favorite. Uh, Unreal Tournament came along uh, 2004, 2003, Unreal Tournament, and then there was Unreal Tournament 3 or something like that. They were all good, then there was the Black Edition. This was my, this was my game. Uh, I played a little bit. Um, I've been playing it on... Uh, it's not Nightmare, but I've been playing it on Hardcore. I used to play it on Nightmare. I'm not that good anymore. Mix. So, the rocket launcher was my weapon, but you, you I mean, you have to be good with all the weapons. And... I think my sensitivity is up a little too high. Let me click it down. Alright, here we go. So, we gotta kill him. For the lead. I mean, it's the first one to 15, I think. And so what happens is we got to keep, you know, we got to keep one from killing the other, but we also have to stay on top of the leaderboard. You have taken the lead. The key with the rocket launcher is to shoot at their feet and understand how the splash damage throws them up into the air. And then once you know that, you can aim your second rocket right where they're going to land and hit them as they land. So now that now the uh, mouse is just a little bit too slow on the sensitivity, I don't have a good in-between, so... I used to be able to run these maps backwards. could mod your character it was fun there was a team rocket mod and if you play jesse and james on the same map they do their team rocket blast up to the speed of light phrase i mean i'm not gonna say modding originated with these games but they were they were there it was it started i mean it was the early days of it at least you know they were right there in the beginning I don't, I don't know why, ever since I did the update, it won't let me um, name my player. And it was working for a while, but every, everyone looked the same. We couldn't change skins, and now I can't rename my player. I was going to play Numerator uh, as my battle tag, because that's what... Um, back in the day, they your friends would give you your battle tag a lot of the time. And they used to call me Numerator because um, I was originally Gem 7. And then my friend Carl said, well, dude, you're always on top of the scoreboard, no matter how many times we fight. So it just kind of went from there. My friend Daryl, who's a great drummer that I used to be in a band with, he used to always play that eyeball.
gonna see if there's any um any way to play this online still. I, I need to be more careful. Minx has five points. Kill her rather than farming um, the eyeball. And if you've ever heard the term, now if you're really young, you've probably never even heard it. It's a dead term. But there was uh, the BFG. People used to say BFG, and it just it, it became this thing that meant like, you know, overpowered, I guess. But that came from this game, BFG. Um, actually stands for big fucking gun and it's an extremely overpowered weapon on on certain maps you won't see until much later in the game and there was a video card company called BFG back in the day and they they made their video cards in California and they had a um, lifetime warranty on their cards even if you overclocked it even if you baked it yourself so yeah, that, that company didn't stay in business very long because back then, we just all turned everything up. And if you knew you, you weren't going to have to pay for it out of your pocket, you'd crank them way too high. I never did it. Um, I was one of the first NVIDIA people in my group. Um, and I always used Asus cards. But uh, when my friends made the switch from uh, 3DFX Voodoo technology to NVIDIA, they all used the BFG cards. I've never been an overclocker. Doesn't seem worth it to me. And you see all these people playing and they keep track of their frame rate and all this stuff, and it's like, okay, but... You can't tell the difference. It's like, it doesn't even matter anymore. Computers are so powerful. One frag left. I need to get health. I need to get health. I need to be smart. I backed into some health. Okay, here it is. Yeah, I used to be able to do all this stuff backwards, and in my mind, I still think I can. You win. Unnamed player. Sorry. Uh, I remember this one. This one has teleporters, I think. Um, oh, yeah, this is the, the one versus one. T um, at the end of each tier, you have like a, a one versus one with like the the leader of that tier. This is where they introduce the, the um the buffs. Oh, that was lucky. You said it dropped down to one hit point. There's quad damage. There's haste and regeneration. Oh, oh see, I thought I was over here and I wasn't. Nope, nope, not going in there with him yet. Not the rocket launcher? Yeah, here it is. This is what we want. Ah, splash damage on myself. Wait do you guys see the rail gun. Oh, that's, that's an awesome weapon. You gotta be dead on, like, Perfect pixel shot, but if you get it, it's it's just an insta gib. Oh, he's got the quad damage now. I gotta watch out. Oh, there he is too. See, I thought this one had teleporters on it, but I was mistaken. Uh, it's been like 20 years or more. Ah, there's nothing you're gonna do. Quad damage rocket launcher. He doesn't even got to come close to hitting you directly to kill you. 
He still got the damn thing. Shit. There we go. There we go. We need health. Here we go. We're gonna set him up right here. Ah, I used to be better. I used to be better. He's got it again. You have taken there we go. sure why these have been called boomer shooters lately um that's the new term i don't know if it has something to do with like the speed that they play or the noise the rocket launcher makes but you know boomer generation are people that are like 80 something years old not my generation so i don't know where that boomer term comes from See, I should have had that. I should have had that. Carl with a C? No, no, Carl with a K. Carl with a K C liked uh, Unreal Tournament. Me and Carl with a, um... Carl with a C liked Unreal Tournament. Carl with a K was my Quake buddy. And, uh... Him and I were almost equally matched at this game. And it would essentially be me and, like, him, six other people, four other people. Him and I would be at, like, uh, 28 and 29 points with, with one point left. Everyone else would be like 14, 15 points. And we would just run past them just to fight each other. Those were good times. Hunter. Hunter, I remember her. And when I first got this game, he had played it for a couple days before me. Uh, he was using a, we were using Linux back then. And this game came, you bought it. You know, obviously we go to Fry's Electronics Buyer Games. And on the, on the game itself, on the CD-ROM, it said, uh, please feel free to make copies of and share this game with your friends and family. And we would burn the CDs and ID software id um, was totally okay with it. And y you couldn't play online. It required a CD key to play online, but they wanted you to have fun and just play with your friends. And so we'd buy like a couple copies of the game, and just burn copies of it and we'd all play together. And that's just, it was a different time. It's just a different time. Businesses had a much, game companies had a much different approach to uh, making games back then. Let's see if we can, um, see if we can fix this. Yeah, it's letting me change it now. Okay, that's good. We want to be, we want to be who we were. Numerator, uh, I always played with green effects, I think. Uh, I know I changed my crosshair. Oh, and Carl with a C. He was my roommate also at the time for a while. So he got this game we, and uh, he brought it home, installed it on my computer while I was asleep. And because uh, he'd, he'd stay out and work late and I woke up in the morning. He's like, dude, you got to try this game. It's badass, you know. And uh, so I log in and I didn't even know it, but he set me my character as uh, these are people who work for it. I've actually worked with a couple of these guys back a long time ago. He sent me up as this guy. I'm running around as this fat clown. I didn't even know it. I, I mean, 
I don't know why I felt like telling that. It was just fun. And that was like the sexy character, you know? Believe it or not, that's what we thought was a sexy video game character back in the day. Um, but none of us really cared about skins or stuff like that. It wasn't a big deal. I, I think I usually played as a skeleton or Klesk. I like that dude. He's pretty cool. The guy with the hoverboard. Let's uh, let's be the guy with the hoverboard. I, I honestly don't remember. I think I used to play as this guy. I'm gonna get a little bit of a hell divers. Yeah, I don't remember there being a female model for those. It's got that kind of got that hell divers look to it. Oh, there was a chick. Oh, and there's a taunt too. There's a chick that had rollerblades. I remember that. And you can taunt people, and she made a really funny noise. That's her right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna be her for a while. And let's see what the um Said I used to play with that crosshair also. Let's go back to how we used to be. Let's see what the taunt is. X, okay. I would just wreck people. And so I'd play like these girly characters or like these these goofy characters. I only played like the skeleton character when I was being serious. Because the goofy characters have these absolutely like ridiculous taunts. And I would just spam them and drive my friends crazy. Arm. Oh, we gotta get the. Oh, I remember this one. It has fog on the lower level. No, 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 no. Fuck. All right, I was getting all excited. Um. Yeah, I would just run around doing that. Well, I'm killing people. It was fun. I can't imagine how it was good enough to spam that and still play. I can barely even press it now. Oh, this one has the teleporter I was thinking of. This is the one I thought we were doing before. So, and the effect you, where you saw me change the effect color, you only see that on the railgun. That's the game. That's the weapon that if you're good at Quake Arena, you have to be good at the real gun. Oh shit, oh shit. Now Orb's just annihilating everyone. We gotta take Orb out. So that, that needs to be the focus. Let me get that, let me get that. Uh, don't don't attack me. Let's team up and get orb. Come on guys He can't get any more points Damn, He's good too I'm not jumping enough. That's the other thing you gotta constantly be jumping and spinning around in the air You know, back then, we didn't have Twitch, people didn't... It was none of that stuff, so we didn't even get to record our gameplay. I would have loved to have seen some of those old matches. I actually, um, had to play in a Quake tournament in San Jose, California, and I got first place in that tournament. But that was just a regional tournament. I never won, like, a national tournament or anything. But I was pretty good back in the day. I think at one point I was the number 97 player in uh, North America. And I think my cash reward was like a hundred dollars, a Quake t-shirt, and a special edition copy of the game that came in like a metal tin. And now, now you get paid $150,000 a year to play games. Of course, I'm not any good at any of the games people get paid to play, so... I probably wouldn't be good at them back then, either. 
All right, let's let's. I'm doing too much talking. Let's get this. Let's get this win, and then we're gonna call this episode. And I'm gonna get on to playing my um, Baldur's Gate three playthrough. Ah, I'm not gonna win this one. And then I'm gonna get back to doing this stuff. This boomer shooters, retro gaming. I'm gonna get the um, res old Resident Evil games and some uh, PlayStation two stuff. Oh, I thought I picked it up and he was just gonna drop. Ah, bad call. Bad call, bad call. We can need, we need to drop orb. All right, whoever got him, good job. I don't care if you kill me. Just keep killing orb. Yep, I knew that wasn't going to end well. well. We're getting there, getting there. Alright, we need one, we need one. We got it, we got it, we got it. I wanted to go to my gauntlet switch, but I'm too slow on it right now. Oh shit, Orb's got the armor. Run from Orb. There it is, there it is. One more, one more. Come on, come on, come on, do it. Got the kill. The rocket came around the corner. I'll take it. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. It's been a ton of fun. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna get the Baldur's Gate 3 series started, and uh, I'll catch you all later. Have a good one.